Well, hello everyone. This is Anita White with Love Your Art and we are so excited to have you back with us. If you're a new subscriber, we want to say welcome and thank you so much for joining us. We're happy to have you along this amazing, amazing art journey with us. So, you know, we like to get started right away. So let's go ahead and jump right in. We have a 18 by 24 inch canvas and I have already laid out the base color and it is the Mars Black and it is by Blit Acrylic. I have already gone ahead and popped the air bubbles and I'm looking for any foreign debris that could be interfering with our design. We want to get that out right away. Any uninvited guests, we want them gone. So I'm torching again because I see a few air bubbles that have popped up since I did my original torch. We have some exciting colors and I'm kind of thrilled to see what happens here. We're going in deep. Yep, we're going in big. We're going to be doing some coppers, some uh, beiges or creams, and some golds all on this black canvas. And what we have here today is the Artist Love Copper. We have the um, Artist Love Unbleached Titanium, Pebio Studio or Iridescent. We have the Blit Acrylic Copper along with the Artist Loft Parchment. We have the Amsterdam Light Gold along with Pebio Studio Curve Iridescent. It's a copper also. We have the Deco Art Americana Buttermilk. And then we have the Artist Loft Old Gold. So those are nine amazing colors that we're gonna be using. So there's three copper, there's three gold, and there's three of the beige or the parchment light colors. We are gonna to try to do a design that allow us to have some negative space in both top and bottom. So what we're trying to do here is to make something uniquely designed that our canvas can appreciate. Okay, how about if we try some extensions and we'll try going with an extension out here and we'll give one here and we'll give one here. All right, see what happens. And that was the Artist Loft Copper. I'm actually giving these, <clears throat> I'm laying these down in the order that I just announced them to the canvas. They will be listed in the description box below in case you missed something, you can always refer back. I'm pretty excited about this because I have done copper and white and um, gold on a black canvas before, but I haven't done uh, copper, gold, and beige on a black cam cam canvas. And I'm interested because I haven't used as many different variations of the copper, gold, and beige. So it would be nice to see what happens here. If it looks like I have to throw in any white, I may do that. <clears throat> and that would be the Blit Acrylic um, Titanium White. Let's start over here. I'm having fun doing these um, various colors. Um, black, black is always a standout go-to color. It's definitely something that you have to really like in order to really appreciate what it allows colors to do. <clears throat> Excuse me. And have you noticed I am transitioning I have lots of Loli Veffy bottles, squeeze bottles, because I received those as a birthday gift from my husband, but I haven't quite gotten to the point that um, 
I've had time to do them all. I have lots and lots of colors. I'm just partial to so many of the same. However, once we get there, we have time to really get everything done. I'll have them all in one of the same type of bottle. All right, guys, that's nine colors. Look at that. What do you think? Should we add the white or not? Hmm. Well, it will give us some lacing, but it'll be interesting just to see what happens without the white. The gold and the iridescence will also give us some lacing in cells, so we should be okay. I just want to make certain that we have enough of the base color in to blow um, in all areas. And so I'm going to just add a little bit more here. Looks like we could use some on this side. And I think maybe here. All right, we'll torch that just a bit. Okay, guys, we are ready to get rocking and rolling on our blowout. <clears throat> we will start in this upper area here, and then I'll look to see where I may want to take it after that. Okay, we want to go into the negative space also. So. the lacing is coming in beautifully. I had a lot more paint on the base color here than on other parts of the canvas for some reason and I blew a lot of that off as I was blowing but it really left a nice pretty um, I guess really reveal of the copper because it's showing up really nicely. There are a lot of air bubbles here so I'm popping those. But you can see the lacing that's coming in is just phenomenal. And that's from the iridescence and the, um, I guess we could say the old gold. I'm loving the richness that these colors have really, really given us. Just so rich and so vibrant. Love love, love what we're seeing here. Okay, hope you like this. Let's see what we can do to bring you in for a close-up to get a real good view of what we have going on. Wow, I'm loving how that came out. Just blowing that black into there, pushing it off. <clears throat> Excuse me, really allow for that copper to come through and just stand out. 
really nice. All of this just looks amazing. Okay, so here we have a close-up for you coming right now. Well, here we are, my friends, with our close-up. And as you can see, the richness of the copper, the golds, and the beige creamy colors on black is just amazing. Creating a lot of rich color and cells along with lacing. That's just amazing. I'm loving it. We have one light on so that you can really see how these colors have merged together so beautifully and they are just speaking loud and clear. Oh my heavens. Look at that lacing. Unbelievable. It is just stunning. And here we have this side over here. Again, the copper, the golds, and the creams coming together. Iridescent shine on top. There's a nice little shimmer on top of there. You can see it. I don't know if you can, but I can. Look at that lacing. It's a milky white like lacing coming through. I'm going up here. And over here is where we had to blow off a lot of that black, but you can see, oh my gosh, look at that iridescent, that uh, Pebeo Studio iridescent copper right on top, or gold actually, I think that's the gold, yeah. Merging with the copper, giving for that nice sparkle in there, so pretty. Look at the cells there, they're gold cells inside the copper. Moving right on up. Oh, look how rich and pretty that is. This is where we had extra, seemed like base paint, more black on here, and they had to blow it off, but this is what resulted. Nice, rich color. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Woo-wee! I am loving this. Hope you like it. Let me know what you think in the comments. And until next time, keep loving your art. We'll see you on the next video upload, everybody. Have a good day, stay safe, and thank you so much for joining me. Bye now.